Thank God for the quantization. Quantization is the best thing which has happened to LLMs in the recent months. Quantizing large language model is the most popular approach to reduce the size of these models and allow mere models like us who don't have very heavy GPUs like A100 or H100 to run these models locally. I have already done lots of videos where I have shown you how to run these models locally in the GGUF format and also I have shown you in the GPTQ format. GPTQ has become so famous that now it is part of Transformers library. In this video, I am going to introduce you to yet another format and library which is EXL2 or XLAMA version 2. It is a library designed to run models even faster. The one catch is that it only runs on NVIDIA GPUs plus only the modern NVIDIA GPUs. So if you are running with any other uh, GPU provider it won't run and even if you are running with older NVIDIA cards it won't run. So if you have the latest NVIDIA card or from the last year then I think you should be good to go. This XLAMA v2 library introduces this quantization format EXL2 which brings a lot of flexibility how the weights of the models are stored. So let's go to my local system we will get it installed and then we will see how can we do inference with this xlama v2 in excel2 format i will be using this model as a sample we will first download it and then we will do the inference with it let me take you to my local system where i am running ubuntu let me quickly switch over to my ubuntu system this is my Ubuntu system. Let me get out of this directory, clear the screen. Let me quickly show you the version. I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of from NVIDIA of 8 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear the screen. The first thing which you would need to do in order to get this EXL2 format or XLAMA v2 installed is to log into Hugging Face Hub because the best way in order to use these EXL2 models is to download them directly from Hugging Face and for that you would need a Hugging Face token. Let me quickly show you how you can get that token. So again go back to Hugging Face website. On the top right just click here then on settings and then on the left hand side click on access tokens and from here you can obtain your token if you don't have it just click on new token and create one for yourself i already have one so i'm going to reuse my existing one let's go back to our terminal and first let's install hugging face hub which allows us to log into hugging face and i'm simply using pip install hugging face hub it don't take too long that is done. Let me clear my screen. And now just simply type hugging face dash CLI space login. It is going to ask you for the same hugging face token which I just showed you. So let me grab it from hugging face, press enter, press capital Y, and now we are logged into hugging face. You can ignore this warning. Let's clear the screen. Now in this Next step, you would need to make a directory where you will be downloading the model. So simply do make directory. So I'm just, let's say I'm just saying this Llama 38 billion and you can name it as you like. I already have that directory. So I'll just go into that directory. Now in dash, that directory, you would run this command and let me paste it. Hugging face dash CLI space download and the whole model repo name. And you can get that uh, model repo name from Hugging Face website. Let me quickly take you there. Simply just click on these two windows and it will copy it. And then you can paste it in your terminal as you can see in this screen. So download and then the whole repo name and then the local directory which you have just created. 
and then local dir ucm link false that's all you need to do press enter and it is going to download it into your local system i already have done it and you can see that it is already there so size is around 6.5 gig this is the model by the way and you would also need the rest of the cupboards now let's get out of this directory let's clear the screen and now we would need to git clone that x llama v2 with the help of this command so simply press enter it's already there i'm just going to cd to it let's clear the screen and now because i want to keep everything separate so i'm just going to create a conda environment if you don't know what conda is i already have done few videos around it conda not only allows you to have some pre-built packages it keeps everything nice and clean separate from your actual environment so let me create this environment it takes a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish just type y here and it is going to install all of this stuff separately that is done let's activate this environment and you can see that now it is activated in this parenthesis with the name of the environment let me clear the screen let's install all the requirements it is installing it on in your conda environment without impacting your local environment so let's wait for it to finish all the requirements are done also install all the dependencies with the help of this command pip install dot and let's wait for it to finish so as you can see eventually xlama v2 is installed let me clear the screen and now we will do the inference in order to do the inference all you need to do is to run this command python test underscore inference dot py and this comes with the repo which you have just cloned then dash m and then path to the directory which we created where we have downloaded our model and then dash p once upon a time and in these double quotes you can put your prompt in let's press enter there you go so model is loaded tokenizer is loaded and then warm up generating and there you go so it is very very fast as you can see if you have seen me doing it with uh, lm studio or any even you know on the linux with gguf it is way faster than that and the response is awesome but this is how you install and run xlama v2 and you can run any EXL2 models locally by using these commands. And you can simply use these instructions on Windows too. So that's it guys, I hope that it was useful. I will drop the link to this GitHub repo in the video description. And I will also put all the commands which I have used in my blog and I will drop the link in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.